In this video, I'm going to show you how to better organize larger projects in DaVinci Resolve. Over the years working on small projects and bigger projects, I've developed quite a few different techniques and workflows that drastically speed up my editing time. On a side note, what kind of video projects do you work on most? Client promo videos, YouTube videos, weddings? Let me know in the comments below because then that way I can make more tutorials for you based on those type of projects. In this video, I will show you how to save time by staying organized with DaVinci. Let's hop in there and check it out. All right, so I have our Iceland trip opened up here in the edit tab of DaVinci. First, I wanna show you the way I find most helpful to view my timeline. Let's click on this timeline view options icon here. And I like to use this first view option because it can show multiple sequence tabs at once. I'll just deselect it for a second so you can see the sequence tabs on my timeline disappear. Click it again to select it and my different sequence tabs are back. For the video view option, I prefer the first option because it shows each frame within the clip, which visually makes it a lot easier to see what's going on in the clip without having to scrub through or go through it. But let's just check out the next option, which shows only the beginning and the end of the frames and the third option, which doesn't show any of the frames within the clip at all. So we'll stick to the first option. For the audio view options, I prefer to have, again, the first choice selected, which shows your audio waveforms if you have them within your clips. And just in case you don't know, the keyboard shortcut that I'm gonna be using a lot throughout this tutorial to zoom out of your timeline is Command and the minus key if you're on a Mac, Control and the minus key if you're on a PC, and to zoom back in, Command or Control with the plus key. When organizing big projects, you want to make sure you can see your media pool as well. If for some reason you can't, you can go up to the top left of your screen and click on media pool. Here it is. I just noticed the sequences on my timeline aren't in chronological order. So if you need to move your sequences around, select one of the tabs and drag it where you'd like, like so. Okay, so with a very big project like this, with about 17 hours in total of footage, I've divided up the footage into three different raw, unedited, all footage sequences. Each of these sequences contains about five to six hours of footage. All footage one, day one through four, all footage two, day five through nine, and all footage three, day 10 to 14. In our media pool here, I have two bins, our sequence bin and our project assets bin. I find it helpful to capitalize the name of a main bin if I have more bins within it. I'll double click on the project assets and I have effects in one bin, footage in another, music in another, and sound effects. Setting up the media pool this way allows you to quickly sort through all of the content you have and also splitting up all of your footage into multiple sequences based on the days you filmed or the sequences of footage that you think you're gonna be putting together makes life a lot easier. You can also see the master side panel here and the bins show here as well with drop down menus if there are more bins within the bin. Okay, currently we're in thumbnail view, but I find it more efficient to use list view. So as you can see, I have all of these clips on my timeline colored with different labels. By default, when you bring footage onto your timeline, the footage will show blue and the audio will show green. As you go through all of your footage, using color labels to choose your selects, the clips or the part of the clips that you think you wanna use in your edit is really helpful. To do this with the footage selected, right click, choose clip color, and then choose whichever color you'd like. So for me, I find using four different colors to organize my clips and my selects works well. I always use navy blue for my best takes, purple for second best takes, olive for takes that are good, and orange for the clips that are just okay. The idea is you have all of your footage laid out on several different timelines, and then you're gonna be copying and pasting your best clips into the actual sequences that you're putting your video edit together in. So let's double click on the sequences bin here. I'll open up my video one Iceland vlog. As you can see, it's made up of mostly blue clips because those are the best clips of the day. And then we also have a few other clips that didn't quite make it. This can save you a lot of time by visually organizing everything in your timeline by color. Next, I wanna show you something that's really helpful when you're working on big projects and that's using flags. I like to make each day of my edit a different flag color. I'll go into project assets footage, day one, select all of the day one footage, right click, choose flag, and I'll choose blue. So the beauty of working with flags is that they stay with your clip. You can double click on a flag within a clip and add a note for yourself. With this particular project, 
project. Because I'm working on travel vlogs, I like to write the day and I'll include the name of the place while it's fresh in my mind as well. Press done and you can see that this flag contains a note because a little circle shows within it. So each chunk of footage on my timeline is a different day and has a different flag color. The great thing about flags is they stay with the footage, they stay with the clip. Let me show you. Let's pop over to the video one Iceland vlog and we can see the flags here as well. This is helpful because, okay, as I'm looking at this vlog, I can see I have a lot of green flags, which I know is footage from day three, the golden circle tour. So I may want to replace a few of these day three clips with clips from other parts of my trip. And one thing I can't stress enough with bigger projects like this is within a day or two of getting back from your trip, definitely start the project and start laying it out and organizing it because it will be fresh in your mind. The worst thing to do is wait like a month or two before you start editing because then it's not gonna be fresh in your mind and it will take you a little longer to put it together. Okay, so beyond color labels, flags, and also editing your footage right when you get back from a trip, the next thing that really helps with organization is using markers. Unlike flags, markers aren't attached to your clip. I'd like to add a marker here so we can press the shortcut command M on our keyboard or above the timeline here, you can choose the marker icon and a marker will be placed wherever your playhead is on your timeline. Let's double click on it and I'll name it text on screen. And I'm gonna add a couple additional notes indicating roughly what the text will highlight. And of course, you can also change the color of your marker if you want to and adjust the duration the marker shows on your timeline. I prefer doing this by closing the marker pop-up box here. Click done, clicking on the marker, holding shift down and dragging it out over the part of my edit I need this reminder for gonna add another marker and note here. And now, next time I come back to work on this edit, I can hold shift, then use the arrow keys on my keyboard to skip through the markers and the info from each marker will show on the top left of our program window here. All right, so those are a few different techniques you can use to better organize your larger projects. These techniques, of course, can also be applied to medium and smaller projects because it's the same workflow, but on larger projects, this can really add up and save you quite a lot of time. If you wanna learn more DaVinci tips and tricks, check out our DaVinci playlist, which has a bunch of super useful tutorials in it. Thanks for checking this video out. Subscribe for the latest from us, and we will see you in another video.